Hi, this is Brent from TradeGuild.blogspot.com, and it is uh, Saturday, September 9th, 2006. And I want to show you just uh, briefly, and it's going to be a little difficult because I haven't tried to do this before, but I want to show you just briefly um, the way I kind of look at some of the uh, longer term or fundamental analysis, uh, the things that I'm interested in anyway, uh, using Telechart and Telechart's uh, sister program. When you subscribe to Telechart, uh, you also get Snapsheets which is very interesting, but I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, really into depth on that. But I just want to show you a couple things that uh, are useful to me, um, and I'm not very uh, literate as far as fundamentals go. So just a few things that I like to use. Um, I'm going to take a look at uh, the positions that are in my portfolio right now, and uh, some of you probably share the same positions. But let's start with my uh, most recent addition, which is uh, FLOW. And this is Flow International Corporation, their machine tools and accessories. And basically what we saw here was just, uh, you know, this breakdown uh, from this level on very uh, healthy volume. And uh, it made sense, you know, to look at uh, a possible opportunity to short the stock as it tries to fill uh, the gap that has been created from here to here. So um, on Friday, I started buying into this position, uh, or shorting it rather. And that's what I like to do is kind of just buy a little bit at a time on a situation like this. I get in early. I don't get my whole position, but um, you know I, I don't have as much risk then. So if it bumps up a little bit towards the $13 level or so, I can add to that position. Um, some of the negative things that we saw on this stock chart, um, there's a, if I could just scroll out a little bit, you can see a nice uh, healthy negative divergence between um, March and May in MACD, um, and I'll show you that to you here. There's MACD at this price level, and then uh, in May we make a new high, and MACD is way down here. So there's some warning that um, you know we're entering a period of distribution here, and what follows is uh, a period of decline. So I think that's what we're seeing right now. So we're in early short on a period of decline in this stock. Um, a couple other things we think maybe are kind of noteworthy here. If I can just uh, zoom out a little bit, there's a TSV divergence between um, that same time period in March and May. So if we look at where TSV was, this red indicator up here uh, in March, and then you know at higher prices, TSV was lower. So it's showing less uh, accumulation going into this trend. So in fact, what we may be seeing is as this price advances, maybe there's a little bit of uh, distribution going on here. Uh, which is common to see in this kind of a top formation because it is really a uh, formation of distribution, more or less. Uh, in August, TSV uh, entered lows down here at this position. And if we kind of just scroll back and look, we can see that those lows are multi-year lows. It hasn't been this low as far back as 02, as far as I can tell. So there's something going on um, with flow. So what I'm going to do is pull up my snap sheets. And um, basically what I have here is the fundamental uh, data feed, which is $99 for a year. And there's all kinds of fundamentals that I can plot uh, on a chart here. And I just have a few things up right now, but I can, uh, you know, I can show you other things like, uh, you know, uh, the rank, the industry rank of this particular uh, stock. Right here I have the uh, latest short interest ratio. I have uh, percentage held by institutions here and um, percentage held by insiders here with a price chart up there. And I know it's a little cramped right now because it's very uh, small on the screen for recording purposes, but in actuality, it's pretty uh, easy to use. And down here, I have a, a browser linked. Right now, I just have Yahoo on there. I have another snap sheet that links all my browsers that I like to use, including uh, Reuters Key Developments, uh, the Street Earnings, uh, the Street uh, Option Chain, uh, Yahoo Finance. And as I change symbols, on Telechart, all of this information, including the browsers, changes. So I just pull up my browser and see whatever I want to see. I don't have to type in the symbol. Uh, in any case, we're looking at flow here. And in August, there were some small insider uh, sales. Let me just kind of uh, bring us into a more appropriate time frame here. And let me increase the depth of that chart. So in August, you can see some insiders were selling uh, nothing too big. It went from about 4.5% insiders down to about maybe 4.3%. Um, 
that's not really indicative of anything in my opinion at that point. Uh, institutions though, um, since the end of May, and institutions is here in red, has been on a steady decline as you can see. So it went from something like 90 plus percent uh, institutional holdings down here to 84. So you can see this uh, drop and that kind of confirms what we were suspecting here, that this was a period of distribution. So we see that in institutional holdings, but it's still fairly high up, up here. It's very high actually at 84%. So there's a lot more room in my opinion for institutions to move out and uh, affect the price negatively. Uh, the latest short interest ratio, which I have down at the bottom in orange, puts us at, let me just bring that up a little bit bigger, puts us at, I think, about seven days to cover. So there's a fairly good size short position in flow. And um, I think these fundamental indicators are confirming this uh, price action that we're seeing on the charts. Actually, if we take a look specifically at August, let's see what happened with institutions. Do we have a bump in August? Yeah, we had a bump down in August from about 86 to 84%. So um, we see that bump over here in selling on BOP. Now, I don't know, and TSV moving below the zero line. Now, I don't know for sure it was all institutional selling that created this, uh, but there's a huge position there. So, um, you know, a 2% move out of that stock could have created some of this price decline that we see here. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next chart, but I know I'm not going to get through the whole thing uh, before the end of this video, so I'll have to um, make another video. But let's take a look at ISV, and this is a long position that I got into, and what I saw here was that 50-day moving average flattening out. I saw this ascending triangle, and uh, you know I got in in this ascending triangle down here, and we got the breakout. Now, subsequently, it's pulled back quite a bit more than I would like to see. Uh, this week has been rough. On, uh, on stocks, but um, I'd like to see it hold up better than it did. I'm still in the position, although I did uh, thin it out a little bit. Um, there was a MACD divergence. Let me just um, open up this chart a little bit. Uh, let's see, we had a MACD divergence between uh, June and July. And basically what that was, was as price was moving down here in June and July over here, we have this uh, negative trajectory, but in MACD, we have this positive tra uh, trajectory. So this was telling us something was going on. We we're at a, possibly approaching a bottom, and that was one of the calculations that went into my uh, analysis here. Um, what else do we have here? Um, let's take a look at the accumulation distribution. Let me move out here. And between August and September, of 05, if we move back, um, we start to see a little bump up, and I'll show you that right here. In Money Stream, you can see this little bump up over here. We see a transition over here from BOP between buying or uh, selling to buying over here, and TSV finally makes its move above the zero line back here. So something was going on back in that time period that, um, and this was also a base or a period of accumulation. Here's our period of. Um, markup and here's uh, distribution and decline. So something was going on way back then and we could see it on these indicators and we'll probably see it on the snap sheets as well when we look at institutional holdings. Um, you could see though that TSV pretty much trended higher uh, until we got to this point up here at the top. Let me clean up this chart a little bit. And here we are between uh, February, the end of uh, January and February to uh, the April uh, point. And what we see there is a negative um, divergence. And as we see this appreciation being made in price, we're entering that period of distribution. Here's some selling going on, so we can see that on the chart. Um, I'm gonna come back though, because I'm running out of time right now. And I'll come back with one more video and we'll finish up on ISV and take a look at the snapsheets.